Welcome to Affinity Photo. This is just a quick tip for compression efficiency when you're saving your images for the web. So typically you'll export images like these as JPEGs. And looking at this image, it should be a fairly simple export. If I go to File, Export, choose JPEG, let's reduce the quality to about 50. It will give me an estimated file size of around 300 kilobytes. Now, if I cancel this, and I zoom into the image. It's not particularly noticeable, but there's a lot of chrominance noise in this image that's complicating the final export. And unless you've done some noise reduction during your post-process workflow, odds are most of your images will contain chrominance noise to some degree. It's just the nature of working with digital image sensors. So we can simply go to filters, noise and denoise. And what we'll do is check the extreme box for color denoise, drag the slider three quarters of the way. We'll ignore luminance denoising and click apply. Okay, so we've performed a color denoise operation. It hasn't really affected the texture of the image, which is great. Now, if we go to file export and keep the quality at 50, we'll see a reduced file size. Not bad, but there's another way we can reduce the file size as well. If we go into the more options here, we can check progressive. You may have seen this when images load on web pages gradually. So they start off very blurry and low resolution, and then gradually the quality builds until you're left with the final image. So if we go ahead and click close, we'll now see our file size has dropped again. Let's see if we can't reduce this even further. So looking at this image, we do still have some color noise. So we'll go back in to our denoise filter. We're going to do some more color denoising. We'll add a tiny amount of luminance denoise and click apply. Okay, so if we go back into file and export, we'll see we've reduced the file size even further. And another thing we can do is reduce the exported pixel size of the image, and then the file size drops even further. So by doing this noise reduction, especially color noise reduction, essentially it means that the JPEG encoder has a less complex image to optimize. And that coupled with saving as a progressive image really helps to bring the file size down, as you can see. One final tiny file size saving technique we might want to try is using a softer resample method here. So at the moment we're using Lantsus. If we change to bicubic, and then also we have to re-enable the progressive check here, we've saved roughly a kilobyte on the file size. This will simply be because the bicubic algorithm is slightly softer and there will be slightly less high frequency content or fewer sharp edges to encode. So there we go, just a few tips for optimizing your images for web delivery. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the official Affinity forums. Thank you for watching.